Porter, baby. What do we have today? Deschutes Brewery. I think I said that right. I hope I'm not butchering it. This is back black. <coughs> this is Black Butte Porter. It's their flagship porter. So this is coming out of Bend, Oregon. And the cool thing about Deschutes beers is that all of their labels are based on uh, things that they have right in their backyard. So Black Butte is um, an actual butte in Oregon that they, they actually climb to. They have a 360 video that you can watch on YouTube. Uh, it's pretty interesting and, and pretty awesome uh, where technology is going. I won't get into that, but go check it out. Anyways, this is um, 30 IBU, 5.2% alcohol. I will tell you guys that this was um, bottled before August of 2016. So I'm probably not doing it a favor by drinking it, you know, almost a year later. So, but we're gonna get into it. And let's start with this label. I love the label. It's, uh, it's got a where the wild things are type illustration vibe going on and uh, a landmark on it. So geographical landmark. So I like it. It's simple. The uh, Their logo is really cool and they have it on the cap, which makes the cap really cool. And that's going to look really good all the way up in Oregon up there. Uh, actually, let's put it there. You know what? We'll do that. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. So yeah, let's see what we get out of it. I'm pretty excited about this. Shout out to Zach Smith who hooked me up with his beer. Uh, thanks, Zach. We're gonna try it out. And this is coming out a nice uh, semi-medium dark brown with a lighter uh, to medium khaki head. Pretty good looking, sticking around. Thick lacing that just uh, slips right off the glaze. Mmm, smells uh, really creamy and chocolatey. Roasty, of course, the roasted malt and a little bit of coffee there on the back. But sweet, almost, almost uh, caramel. Caramel tones there. Hmm. Yeah, flagship porter, I can see why. Stick your flags where your mouth is. Ah, where my mouth is. Bottle conditioned for quality. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, soft, lots, you can taste the grain, um, like the wart grain. It's not grainy texture, but the grain uh, that was used to make it it's coming up right up front. The texture is a little bit grainy also though, but really creamy. A little bit of chocolate, milk chocolate, and a little bit of coffee, and a little bit of a uh, malty bitterness on the back. But really delicious, quite soft. The aroma and the taste go, they're identical, they're perfect. So you get just what you sniff. Mm. Getting a little bit of vanilla in there as well. Oh, I love it. It's a beautiful clear brown color on the pour and then a, a medium darker brown in the in the glass. Yeah, so sweet and creamy, chocolatey up front, dark and roasty on the back, a little bit tobacco-y, smokehouse. Mmm, would go perfectly with some barbecue, like barbecue brisket sandwiches or blackened catfish. Mmm, mmm, I make myself hungry. But yeah, like a chocolate flaky oat vibe there. Oh, that is so good. I haven't been the biggest fan of porters, but man, I wish I had another one of these. Bend, Oregon. Gonna have to come up here and visit you guys. I mean, it looks like you guys have some beautiful things uh, to offer. I, it's been a while since I've been to Oregon. I was a kid, but uh, this is fantastic. Not getting any sediment also. It says bottle condition, but this is a very, very clean, crisp, pretty beer. It's like I'm smelling the wart in a brew, which is, if you homebrew, you know how delicious that is. This has got to be like one of the best porters I've ever had. Mmm, mmm. Oh, just fantastic. Okay, really, really good. And um, there is like, there is nothing wrong with this porter whatsoever. So here's what I'm going to do. Yes, I loved the 2017 and the 2016 birthday bomb. And the 2016 came up reigning champion out of the two. But this beer had a few flaws, even though I loved it. And I've got the barrel age Bible belt in there. So Prairie's already in here. I'm taking this one out. And because this is like the perfect, like picture perfect porter, I'm gonna stick it there. I'm just getting some good vibes off of this beer. 
Oh, delicious. Again, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm Patrick, and I'm making it great. And I'll see you guys next time on the uh, next episode. We'll do another porter. Peace.